How to create a high mast for a spore area lighting. You have to select Head Structure and this window will appear. You have to define the position of the high mast. So in this case we have a soccer field of 100 meters by 65. So we define a position of minus 55, which is uh, roughly around here. And uh, the Y position is minus 35. And the height where we are going to install the panel uh, with all the luminaires will be 20 meters. Then we define the number of luminaires along uh, the X axis and the number of luminaires along the y-axis. In this case, we have three by two. And then the inter distance in between the luminaires. Now, we have to select the luminaire. So, from uh, a folder where I placed uh, my luminaire, I simply drag and drop. But it is also possible to select the luminaire from the catalog of the most used uh, luminaires or from the catalog uh, of the program. Once we confirm, the high mast will be defined. There is uh, another set of uh, coordinates that we have to define, which is the orientation of the panel. So we have to tilt the panel by 60 degrees, 65 degrees, and then we rotate it by minus 40. As you can see, the luminaires are focused, are aimed towards the field now. At this stage, we can, for example, split the luminaires into different sections, so into different layers. So we may say that the first three luminaires are part of the match layer, and the other three are part of the training layer. As you can see, the luminaires aimings uh, have a different color in function of the group they belong to. Now we can select the luminar and uh, we can aim. Simply clicking at the arrow of uh, the single aiming the single luminaire. Now let's complete the high master with the simulation of the high master itself. So we access the library, we access the objects, we use the cylinder, and we scale the cylinder. It will be 0.7 by 0.7 for a height of 20 meters. And now, if we come to the top view, we split and we come to the top view, we can exactly place the, the pole at the location of the panel. And in case, we can create a group using the group feature. It means that whenever we select the group, we can move all together, the panel, the luminaires, and the pole.
The panel has a great advantage because uh, it's a dynamic panel. It means that in any case and in function of different needs, I can select uh, the luminaire and uh, I can move the luminaire along the world axis, along the axis parallel to the absolute ones, and uh, along the local axis. In this case, I have to select uh, local, and as you can see, the axis was changed, uh, and I can move the luminaire in function of what I need. So the high mast and the panel is a dynamic one. It means that I can have a panel by rows and columns, but I can also have a panel where the luminaires are freely placed at the panel itself.